with the solar people we are a one stop shop partner for solar energy or diary projects uh, we provide customized services for energy for diary cooperatives diary farmers energy milk processing among others uh, we do this by also helping with the access to, to funding. We develop a debt financing plan to really help the direct cooperative afford this kind of mini grid solar systems. 20 to 40% of the milk produced in Uganda is wasted due to lack of timely cooling. During our milk time, here in Buyanja, all, all, the, all the coolers, they use generators. And when their generators get the problem, all the farmers suffer because they don't get the what? Their money. And so coming back to why solar for milk. First, we, through our research, we found out that dairy farmers are really liquid in terms of cash and uh, the systems we are helping to develop are helping to unburden them from the costs of running a diesel generator. And so when the cost of running a diesel generator goes away, their income increases. This kind of system we are developing 10, 20 kVA are really expensive. So now that we develop a repayment plan for these farmers, meaning they could pay for this system between five and eight years, for sure a milk farmer who can afford to pay this because they are assured of daily income coming in from the milk. We are looking for partners to form a collaboration with. We started with the collaboration with direct cooperatives but we are looking for big milk bulking centers, milk processors, solar installers, but also collaboration with the government, especially the, the government uh, sectors or departments like uh, NADS, WRF Creation, so that we could uh, try together to subsidize the cost of acquiring uh, a solar system, also to procure uh, energy efficient solar milk coolers. Right now, as I speak, we have uh, more than three projects running. The very first one is uh, this project here where I'm standing in Gomba, Guyanja. There is a solar system, uh, 20 kVA, running these coolers that you see. Has, it has been running now for almost a year and stable. The second project we, we developed is in uh, Ngoma, Nakaseke district, a village called Charles Sereka. It is uh, bigger than this one. This is a 24 kVA, three phase, very stable, and it is running. And then the third project is in Kamuli. A uh, village called Kasore, still 24 kVA, three phase, and very stable. And so this year alone, we intend to do more five projects across the country. If you see the people who are depending on a reliable milk collection center like this one, a cooperative, there are so many. A collection center like this one, they are collecting milk in over 100 farmers so those are families that are earning from this facility but in between there are people locally called the basunda who collect milk and ferry it from the farm that is also another set of people who earn money they are transporters uh, so but beyond that wherever we install this project we also install the street lights, so there is security in the area. 
other energy needs like running the office, computer, charging phones can also be done at these centers. A single facility like this one uh, is run by um, plus people who bring milk, the local called Basunda. There are like more than 10 people, more than 10 people who are earning like directly besides uh, the farmers. Yeah. And so we keep recruiting more and these dairy cooperatives also keep recruiting more as they scale in terms of the volume of the milk they are collecting. For sure, if the government comes on board, this is another avenue of creating more jobs in the dairy value chain. You see the border borders that are congesting in Kampala, like running around the ferrying, people drop me here, drop me there. Around this community, these border borders, the dairy cooperatives are using them to ferry milk from the farms. Because you know most of the farms have really very tiny feeder roads. So, and then they are assured of a very good income and they work daily. That is one line of creating jobs. Then the people who are working at these milk coolers, then the installers I work with, the technicians who are fixing the solar panels. We have also the technician for these cooling facilities who fix the, the milk compressors. There is a, a very big potential of creating jobs in the dairy sector if these projects are scaled and we work with the government. When you move around the farms, most of these cows, they graze them or on free, like a free range. They just move around, look for grass. Obviously, there are no proper milking uh, facilities, uh, transporting. So if the entire sector is really like a streamlined, proper transportation, good collection, we are calling the government to come and we collaborate. Perhaps uh, we pilot a renewable energy parish model where we have like a one square mile of land with the bulking center of like 50,000 with the renewable energy, uh, solar, uh, biogas, water pumping from this energy. When we get the solar system to use, I think we can break the problem of generators and our milk can't get it down. So because we have sun, and all farmers can be happy. And when they get the price, the constant price of our milk, we can enjoy and be happy. There is a big relationship of solar and uh, climate change. Because, uh, for instance, a cooling facility like this one, we are replacing a 30 kV generator with a, a solar system. So the thing is, we are saving many tons of carbon oxide that would have been emitted if a facility like this one was not running on solar.